However, when the soul is damaged, the body suffers. And that's what happened with me. My, the, the true damage, I was not injured, but morally and emotionally, my soul was damaged and my physical body refused to eat, refused to sleep. You know, I was starting to, to see things. I couldn't stop thinking about that, that situation over and over again. When we're under emotional stress, our cortisol release is really, really high. And that is what was interfering with my body's physical ability to, um, to do all the things that I should be doing to live, right? I couldn't eat. When our stress is high, cortisol will suppress our appetite. Um, it also increases our blood sugar because if we're in fight or flight, our body says, oh, we need to have a lot more uh, you know, blood sugar so that we can run away from whatever the scary thing is that is pursuing us. Well, unfortunately for me, it was uh, an emotional scary thing. It was not a physical scary thing, but my blood pressure would have been, or blood sugar would have been elevated. My blood pressure is elevated. Cortisol increases our blood pressure. It interferes with sleep. It keeps us more alert, more awake so that we can, can protect ourselves. That's, that's part of the purpose of cortisol. So you might have experienced this when you're under, you know, a lot of stress and you can't really sleep, but you don't really feel tired and you're go, go, go. You know, I hear this a lot with loved ones who are in, you know, the, the hospital or something, some emergency is happening and they can go week, like a week without feeling like they are tired. They're able to get everything done. And then as soon as they finish, they crash, right? That cortisol is withdrawn and the body just shuts down. So we have a very strong emotional or physical reaction to emotions and stress.